Hello everyone, welcome to A Night in the Woods. The description for this game is simply this. You're lost, cold, and need a place to sleep for the night. A short first person game. It's also totally free, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. So normally I play games pretty much blind in the sense that I haven't played them before, but in this case I've actually played through the whole thing. Um, but it's not really a big deal. There's really not much to spoil. But I wanted to come back to it and make a video of it, because I actually really like it. Mostly for the atmosphere, the mood of it. And I guess I'll show you why as I go ahead. I'm completely lost. Just great. So yeah, you can see there's the text down there. It's kind of strange and interesting, too. The game is actually played inside of a, a border. The game is actually framed, which is very strange. Not entirely sure why, but it's interesting. You can see nature's overgrown here and cut off the road. And I really like the aesthetic of this game. The, the very pixely 3D art just, it looks really cool to me. It just reminds me of old, like, PlayStation 1 games. It's really neat. It's freezing cold. I should find kindling for a fire. Yeah, and I think the sound design is really cool, too. Like, you can hear all the, the crickets and birds and whatnot buzzing away. And then when you get closer to this light, you can actually hear the buzz of the light. It's really cool. So here's a note. And it also acts as fire. Or, uh, kindling for a fire. Hey, Karen. If you see... You know, when I tried to read this before, I actually couldn't quite read it. Because the font is kind of a mess and it's hard for me to read. I think this is Tin Man... I think that's an N, is it? If you see Tin Man, let me know. The usual method. I'm sick of his shit. To think I used to be an accountant. Meg. So let's take that. I need... I think you need like 15 or 20 for a fire. And I also need this flashlight so I can actually see what I'm doing. Here we go. Yeah, I really do like the sound design. Even the click of the flashlight is just so satisfying. Print news sees resurgence among nations poor. Renaissance or sign of the times? I wonder what all these weird symbols mean. Weird symbols. It's an interesting way to refer to writing. Literacy rates drop to record low. Senator blames video games. <laughs> Screw you, Senator. I hope none of these are important. Right, so obviously I'm one of the illiterate, because I can't read these things. They're strange symbols to me. Essential skills for surviving in the new world in the new wild. So yes, everything's overgrown. Very overgrown, as you can see. The trees are just encroaching on the road. And trees don't grow slow uh, they don't grow fast. So it's obviously been a while. The new wild. Oh, hello. The perfect cache. How to hide valuables. Oh no, I got stuck. There we go. Over 75% of nation below poverty line.
Yeah, so I believe this is a world that's gone to hell. Literacy rates going down. Massive poverty. Economists say job market back on track. <laughs> yeah. Luddite generation first to own fewer smartphones. Luddites, people that are scared or... Scared or just don't like technology. I don't have the energy to drag this door somewhere to burn. Oh. Fair enough. Guess what the Tin Man did? I have no idea. Do I have to guess? Can you just tell me? When delivery drones attack, the militarization of next day air. <laughs> oh. Very topical, given the recent announcement of the... I don't know if you can call it an announcement, but the reveal of the Amazon delivery drone thing. They deliver more than just packages. Shopping list. Milk, bread, new kitchen knife, bleach. Banks move to eliminate physical currency. It's convenient, good for nature. I actually agree with that. I hate physical currency, to be honest. It's a pain in the ass. No expectation of privacy on internet, says Fed. Law-abiding citizens, safe. That is what they usually say, isn't it? What do you have to be afraid of? You know, if you've got nothing to hide, what are you worried about? Load of BS. Alright, there's a key behind there. I think i got to go around here. There are now three drones for every citizen. An era of convenience. Why is this area abandoned? These are perfectly good shelters. Meg, remember when this used to be a suburb? How long ago was that? I don't even remember anymore. The best of vintage Tumblr porn. Uh, the, vent the best of vintage Tumblr porn edition. Uh, I suppose the best of vintage Tumblr porn edition also kind of works. Why would that be in there? Then again, why would any of this be here? And why would there be a floating key on the ground? I guess it doesn't quite make any sense, but oh well. Yay, keys! A key! That's a weird thing to find lying around. The key fits. Opinion. In defense of the federal anti-protest law. Anti-protest law. Wonderful. Has a little kind of secret place in here. If you... Oh, that's right. I tried to read this before and I couldn't. If you... S steal. That's what it says. Steal. If you steal... That is such a weird font. If you steal this box, you are a a bad person and god it's so hard to read and don't understand humans surviving better in groups oh I actually couldn't read that before but now I just finally figured it out it's weird the A's look like O's to me And the D's also kind of look like O's. Don't understand humans surviving better in groups. 
if you steal this box. Uh, what box? Or is that the point? Someone's already stolen it. Unless this is the box, but it doesn't look like a box, it's just a note. Well, just in case, I'm not going to take it. I think I can use this key back over to the right. Yeah, I mean, this game has... It doesn't have very many sound effects whatsoever. There aren't even footstep sounds. There's just the sound of nature. The sound of clicking your flashlight on and off. The sound of notes. And the buzz of this. Which, at the moment, that's like, what, four different sounds? It's not very many, but... It's enough to give an incredible sense of mood to this place for me. It's amazing how, how far a few sound effects can go. Did I go in here? I think I did. Yeah. Alright, it's time to go through here. Everything's automated. Nobody's employed. Well, to be fair, you do need maintenance people to maintain the automated workers. <laughs> but uh, that's probably not too many people needed for that job. Thousands die in Labor Day protests. Peaceful citizens need not fear. Yeah. So people actually killed for protesting. It doesn't say anything about it being a violent protest. I would assume... I would assume that if they were killed in a protest, it's because it turned into a violent protest, but it doesn't actually say that. And there's, I've already seen other stuff about making protesting illegal, so it really wouldn't surprise me if they just shot them simply for protesting. Consumer market shrinks. Profits still soar. Is the lower class even necessary? Okay, this should be enough to start a fire. Now I need a safe place to burn it. So yeah, you just need 20, but you can find more. Doesn't hurt. New solar power grid completely automated. Can run 100 years. No maintenance. Oh, you know, I didn't even catch this the first time I played. Completely automated, can run 100 years, no maintenance. So, I, you know, I was just thinking, how come there's light? You can see that there's light. There's the street lamp, and then... There's a... Actually, there's a light here. I'm not really sure what it's coming from. But, yeah, there's at least the, the street lamp. The street lamps. There's multiple ones of them. And I'm thinking, if everything's overgrown and the world's kind of gone to shit, you know, why is there power? I guess that answers that. It's a solar power grid that's completely automated. No maintenance needed for 100 years. So, unless somebody has maintained it, it's... whatever happened probably happened... It probably hasn't been more than 100 years. That's kind of a stretch, though. I mean, somebody could have just maintained it. And, you know, maybe it lasts longer than 100 years. It's probably just a minimum. You know, at least 100 years. Rights emerge as anarchism seduces homeless. Police crack down on parasites. Are they calling the homeless parasites? 
police crack down on parasites. I'm not sure what else that could be, given it's in the context of the title. I think it's referring to the homeless as parasites. Which is pretty fucked up. I don't know how Tin Man found our shelter. I swear I didn't tell anyone. If you live to read this, I'm sorry. P.S. Fuck the police. All the sounds fading away. This ramp doesn't make sense. It's still going. It is rather long and kind of perfectly shaped ramp. The procedural architect with a primer on 3D printing. Violent protesters destroy Library of Congress. Hackers erase most of web. Jesus. The Library of Congress gone. Most of the internet gone. How the, how the hell do you even destroy most of the internet? A sleeping bag. I hit the jackpot. Yeah, it looks like I found a good shelter. Can make my fire in there and sleep right here. I wonder if there's anyone else out there. Bless my luck. I could light a fire in this barrel. Glorious flame takes hold. survive the night. And there you go. If you wake up, you just come back up, and I think it just allows you to collect more notes if you want to and stuff like that. And of course, you can restart, and you can quit. Let's wake up. I'm too restless to sleep. I really like that end song. It's so cool. Just after everything you've done, and just the, the crackle of the fire, and the, that strange hum. It sounds like wind, but I don't know, there's something deeper and menacing to it, combined with that song, as you look out at these lights and think, is anybody out there? It's so neat, too, how there's there's no d detail out there, there's no, like, you don't see any streets or buildings or anything, or any features, you just see just the lights. There's something very strange about that. But I like it. It's really suggestive. More than explicit, if that's the right word.
really cool. Yeah, I really like this game. I just love the mood of it. This world that's... very... well, it disturbingly rings true to the stuff that's actually going on in the real world right now. And here's a potential future. Where everything's gone to hell. And here I am in this sad and depressing future just trying to survive. Back to basics. All those items of convenience, you know, all the automated constructors and delivery drones, but none of that matters anymore, does it? Now it's just collecting kindling for a fire to stay warm so I don't freeze to death and somewhere to sleep. It's creepy. And that disturbing hum. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of A Night in the Woods. I think I'm just going to stare out, stare out at these lights and listen to that sound a bit more. <laughs>